Hello Spy Pilots from the Spy Flight Deck. Uh, kind of a little bit of a how-to and how I've kind of tried to solve a problem. And the problem is, is well, well, this thing right here. Uh, there's the really nice new Denver International Airport. Let's just pull on back here. Keep pulling on back, pulling on back, and oh, look at the nice snow on the ground, because it is wintertime, and, but um, uh, yeah, that's it right there. It's that line that you see. See, the Denver International Airport comes with a really nice uh, snow uh, piece of ortho, um, but the problem is, is it's only around the Denver area, and when you're on approach, you've got this little line going in like that. Doesn't look too terribly good, and of course, there is no real solution in X-Plane. So one solution that I tried was to go out on explain.org and look for some sort of a fix for that. And I found these four files here, seasonal snow, seasonal autumn, seasonal winter. And those look actually like they're pretty good. Unless, of course, you've got ortho scenery. If you've got ortho scenery, those guys aren't going to work. So one of the things that I decided to do was, OK, let's just turn off all the ortho scenery and see what it looks like. And it really didn't look good at all, so I decided not to bother even showing you, but decided that's not, that's not a very good option. So let's get rid of that, and let's talk about something that might actually be a decent option. And I found it over on xplane.org. It's called SimTiles, and SimTiles is a payware. It's a $35 app uh, that you can get out there. And uh, let's just take a look at the movie real fast. So here's the YouTube video that you'll find over on the xplane.org store. And let's just hit play. There's a really nice uh, little bit of ortho scenery there. So we'll put it in motion, and after you run it through sim tiles, ooh, wow, that's going to look pretty good. One little clue that you can pick up there is you look up there near the top, you see that line, that big white line there? Yeah, that's another big tan line. So that's a good clue that one of the first things that you're going to have to do is do a sim tile for pretty much every little bit of ortho that you've gone and gotten. And for some of us, we're talking about an awful lot of ortho. All of those little yellow squares there that you see on X Organizer, that's some ortho scenery that I've spent, you know, what, 20 minutes downloading and converting and, you know, jammed onto a monster hard drive. And I don't want to just turn all that off. But that's going to that's gonna create a little bit of a problem, and I'm going to show you a solution to that in just a second. It's not a very pretty solution, but it might work. First of all, let's talk just a little bit about what SimTiles actually looks like. And when you open up the app, uh, you got a couple of things. A couple of windows are going to open. But this is the main user interface here, and you'll start here on the main page. Now, as part of a, the payware that you get uh, from xplane.org, you're going to have to put in a key, and you do that here on the Preferences page. You can't see the key here because once you put in a key, it, uh, that option just disappears. You do have to hit Save and Exit. So you've got a chance here on the first little tab there to create a tile for a single little bit of ortho scenery. Or you can go ahead and you can create a tile for multiple uh, bits of ortho scenery, multiple tiles, and this is six of them. Here's going to be one of the other big costs of sim tiles. Each one of those took a good six hour, uh, not six hours, a good uh, 45 to 50 minutes to uh, process. So this is quite time consuming. As far as presets, I basically went with the Winter Snow Light for ZL16 and Winter Snow, Snow Light rules. There's all sorts of rules and settings you can play with. I just went and set those. I um, set my pixel rate a little on the high side just because I wanted it to look good. You know about preferences. And here's the nice part about this. Once you process your tiles, all you have to do is hit enable or disable and it works. It also does some things with night lighting. I haven't made, I haven't spent too much time playing with the night lighting yet. But let's go back over to this thing here. Let's take a look at all of this stuff here. So there's all of the uh, little bits of ortho scenery that I've recorded over the past few years and put on my monster-sized hard drive. Um, how do you remember which ones you've done? I mean, okay, I've done these and I've done these, but there's no way really to tell unless you want to go in and look at each one of the, uh, each one of the uh, folders in your ortho. And for some of us, that can be an awful lot. So for now, and this is a very inelegant way to uh, fix all of this, uh, it's not that great, but it's going to work for now. And it's a simple little text file. And all I've done is I've done an area around Billings, Montana and Denver, Colorado. Those are areas where I know that there's going to be a little bit of snow. Not a lot of snow, but a little bit of snow. 
and it actually seems to be working for me. Again, this is not a very good way to do it. And when you've got just a bucket of, of ortho scenery to go and process. Now, obviously, I'm not going to waste my time doing ortho scenery here in the Caribbean or around in the Aegean Sea. But in upper North America, going around Chicago and up near Boston and a lot of the places we fly, Seattle. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go and do that. So one of the things is, is every time I go and process one, I'll create a little list here. I think at some point in time, somebody might want to create some sort of a user interface like this, especially the guys at SimTiles. Maybe that would be the next best step uh, for them as they look to uh, um, you know, take this to the next level. Hey, I've already processed this one. That's kind of nice to know. So that's just a little thing that I decided to try and learn how to do here. It's going to add a little bit of badly needed snow, especially as we're going in and out of places like you know, Denver and uh, some of the Montana airports, the Chicago airport, Thunder Bay up in, California, uh, in Canada. So that's just maybe something that helps you out just a little bit. I'll be back over on the YouTube channel with some more spy stuff in a little bit. I'm also going to be on uh, Twitch, as I always am. Hope you can join me for that. In the meantime, leave a comment down there. If you've got a better solution or if I didn't get something right on this one, I sure hope you'll take the time to tell me. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on Twitch on our next spy flight. Have a great day.